Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. It is July 2nd. I hope you guys are getting ready for some fireworks, barbecues, maybe a little bit of beer, um, if you drink. Um, so, a little bit of a quick update. I got a phone call today um, from the hospital and they told me that because I don't have diabetes, my health insurance will not pay for weight loss surgery. Never mind my health history, my current weight, never mind any of that. I don't have diabetes, so I don't qualify for the surgery. Um, in order to qualify for the surgery with my health insurance, you have to have a BMI over 30, which I do, and you have to have diabetes. Um, well, this is where things get a little strange for me. Um, I've never been diagnosed as diabetic, however, in March of 2011, I had to leave work early because I had a high fever, I had tachycardia, which is high heart rate, my blood pressure was really, really high, um, I was having, like, sweats, and I just, it was horrible, absolutely horrible. I went to the emergency room when I left work, um, early and they ran a bunch of blood work and everything that they thought it was, it wasn't and um, I never truly got an answer but what I did find out was that my thyroid was bad which I pretty much already knew and um, I was pre-diabetic um, now how did I know my thyroid was already bad? well when my son wasn't even a year old I was diagnosed with hyperthyroid and so I was being treated for my hyperthyroid and because we were having a really hard time managing things, the medication basically threw me into hypothyroid. But about this point in time my health insurance dropped me and I couldn't afford the doctor's appointments, the blood tests, I couldn't afford the medications and so I just stopped getting treatment altogether. Um, with the thyroid, once it goes bad, it doesn't fix itself. So, for instance, if you're pre-diabetic and you start following a, a good diet and you're exercising and all of that, you have dramatically decreased your chances of getting diabetes and your blood panels can show up as normal. I have a feeling this is what happened to me. But, your thyroid doesn't fix itself. Once it's fucked, it's fucked. Either it's hyper or it's hypo, but once it goes one way or the other, it never goes back to normal. More often than not, with treatment, like 99% of the time with treatment, when you're diagnosed as hyperthyroid with medications, you will fall into hypothyroid, which is what happened to me. Now, that all being said, my health insurance dropped me, I couldn't get treatment anymore. So when I had my blood panels done, not just in March of last year when they said my thyroid was bad, but when I had my, my blood panels done again in November, everything checked out normal. I mean, absolutely everything. I was no longer pre-diabetic. Um, my vitamin D3 and my liver functioning was a little off, not too bad. Um, my thyroid came back normal, which, if anything, that was the one thing I did not expect, was for my thyroid to come back normal. So, um, what kind of ticks me off is the fact that my doctor doesn't want to do those blood panels again until November because when the blood panels are done, they're good for a year. But if it's showing us something that really it shouldn't be showing us, don't you think it should be redone? So I have an appointment, um, just a nurse visit um, next month, but I'm going to see about talking to my doctor about going ahead and getting blood panels done before November, just because I'm, I'm curious. Um, so that's the update. I'm not too thrilled with it. I feel like that was my last chance, um, you know, at not being being hungry all the time, you know, being able to feel some satisfaction somewhere. But uh, the powers that be have said no. So that is the update. And if anything changes, of course, I'll let you know. Don't forget that I do have a blog that you can check out. Um, it wasn't updated for six months, but I'm back on it. 
um, thisfatmom.blogspot.com. Hope to see you all there, and don't be afraid to leave some comments. I will talk to you all later. Bye.